one. Good afternoon and welcome to the latest edition of the RCB Radio Entertainment Show, where we look at upcoming TV series and uh, movies premiering in Ireland and the UK uh, this month. Uh, one of those uh, up for discussion this week is the show uh, called Dr. Death, which is airing on September the 12th here in uh, Ireland and the UK on Channel Star Play. I'm delighted to be joined by one of the stars of the show, the one and only Molly Griggs, who plays the character uh, Wendy Young. Uh, Molly, in terms of um, Dr. Death, how did the role come about for you to play the character Wendy Young and how did the opportunity come about? You know, it was, you know, one of those normal, just regular auditions. Um, my agency manager uh, got the appointment for me and I had a call back and I met with the showrunner and a couple of the writers and producers. And, you know, it was one of those really special auditions where it felt like it was a good fit for both for me and for them. And it was uh, a really, it felt like it was totally uh, a, a, a match made in heaven, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Molly, I suppose it's an all-star cast when you look at it. Joshua Jackson Jackson uh, plays Dr. Christopher Deutsch. Uh, you play his uh, girlfriend on the show, uh, Wendy, Wendy Young, uh, the mother of his children. Then we have Christian Slater, who plays the role of Dr. Randall Kirby, and Alec Baldwin, Dr. Robert Henderson, who are investigating into his Christopher Deutsch's uh, operations, his final surgeries. And this, I hear, is based on a true, uh, real, true true story based out of Texas where the real Christopher Deitch, uh, 33 uh, of his 38 patients uh, had some sort of form of deformities and uh, he his license was revoked in Texas so it was a big story at the time and this is a sort of a spin-off in terms of what happened in that sort of scenario. Yeah, that's right. So we, the show is actually teamed up with the Wondery podcast of the same name and they were the ones who did a, a long form podcast about this entire story and did reporting on it. So our show is based on that podcast and the reporting that they found. Um, and yeah, and it's true. This is a true story about a real, a real licensed neurosurgeon in Texas. And he maimed many people. He killed a few people in surgery. And um, it's just one of those like absolutely true, how did this happen kind of scenarios. And I suppose Molly, uh, it's an all-star cast. We all know Joshua Jackson from his time in Dawson Creek and other stories. Alec Baldwin, uh, the name says it all, really. Alec has been in everything. Chris, uh, Christian Slater as well. So as a young actress to, to land a role working beside some of the, the real sort of cream de la cream of uh, the Hollywood uh, entertainment industry. Uh, must be a, must have been a privilege uh, going to work every day and picking the brains of the likes of Alec Baldwin, for example. Absolutely. No, it was, an, it was a total masterclass every day. Everybody on the set was just a total pro and also really lovely to be around. I unfortunately never got to work with um, Alec or Christian because our, the way our, the storylines go, uh, I mostly worked with Joshua Jackson and Grace Gummer and uh, Anna Sophia Robb, but um, it, and also because of COVID, you know, there wasn't a ton of, you know, we weren't able to like go out for drinks after work, you know, because we were sort of shooting in the deepest, darkest part of the pandemic in the winter time uh, in 2020 and 2021. So, but that being said, watching the show again with seeing everyone's performances and it was really kind of a cool thing to see you know, I know what that looked like on the day when I was there and then to see how it came across on the screen and, you know, what came through that I wouldn't have expected. And also, you know, the things that I saw happen in real in real time really come through so beautifully it was just so cool and um, definitely an experience I won't forget. And I suppose, uh, Molly, there's eight episodes in uh, season one, as we as we know. It's a limited type of uh, a series, as sort of such. It's uh, out in Peacock in the UK, uh, in the USA. It's a uh, channel star play here in UK and sort of Ireland. And I suppose you are the morality behind this uh, incisive character, this uh, the Dr. Uh, Christopher Deitch, this sort of... Um, Ted sort of Bundy, sort of, I wouldn't say wannabe, but uh, in terms of morality, in terms of where he sees the whole issue of uh, life and sort of death. But uh, 
you're his sort of beacon of light in terms of what's good in his life? I think that's partly true. Yeah, it, it's really complicated. That's what's so great about this show is all there's no good character. There's no bad character. Everybody's kind of in this gray area in between. Um, and, you know, the whole question of the show is, you know, why did Dunch do what he did? You know, is he, you know, like you said, like a Ted Bundy, like just an honest to God psychopath or is he you know, sick or is he something, is there a secret third option that we don't really know? Um, and I think my character definitely does at times kind of act as this sort of moral foil a little bit, but also so she, she makes some decisions as well that are, you know, absolutely self-serving. So it's a, it's a really cool character. It's a, it, it feels like it's a real person. Mm. And I suppose you're sort of portraying that married life, that sort of doting uh, mother with sort of young children in terms of coming home saying, honey, how's, how was work today in terms of the scenario sort of stuff? And you're sort of lived that sort of normal life, uh, unaware of such uh, atrocities that are sort of going on. Yeah, I think that's I think that's also kind of true. <clears throat> You know, I think she also is somebody who I think faster than a lot of other people really saw through the charming, uh, I'm going to take care of you kind of facade that he had. So it's really cool to watch the show through Wendy's perspective, because I think she kind of senses that there's danger in the water a lot sooner than other people. And uh, Molly, in terms of the production for the show, eight episodes, in terms of the shooting locations, where did you mainly, were you, were you based out of in terms of uh, shooting and uh, in terms of the show, in terms of a lot? And uh, I suppose eight episodes, was it a two month, uh, three month and gig and was it interrupted due to COVID at any stage? Uh Oh, yeah. So we shot it in New York, mostly, um, even though the show takes place in Texas. And we did have to go to New Mexico at the very end of our shoot to get a couple exterior things that can look like um, Texas and also a little bit of Colorado. Uh, yeah. And I think all told, we started sometime in October and we wrapped in March. So, you know, a little longer than like three or four months. Um, and we actually were pretty well we were interrupted immediately because of COVID because initially we were supposed to shoot the show in, in March of 2020 so obviously that didn't happen everything shut down and we put and we pushed back until October and we did have to have we did have to have a couple um, interruptions in our shooting schedule because of um, abundance of caution for COVID concerns um, but we never had any major hiccups. And um, I'm really proud of how well uh, our producers uh, took care of us and our amazing health and safety team to make sure that we were testing every single day and all of those protocols were being taken to keep everyone safe. And I suppose uh, Molly, in terms of, uh, as we mentioned, it's a limited uh, edition sort of series. So I think in terms of, because it's based on a real life sort of story. Now, I don't want to give too much away because it's debuting on September the 12th. But in terms of this, I very much assume it's a three part piece in terms of a, there's a beginning, there's a middle and there's an end inevitably after the eight episodes. Uh, yeah, no, I think that you definitely get, it's all sort of wrapped up in the, in the eight episodes. I think you're left with a, uh, a satisfying ending to the series, but also I think we're left with a lot of questions, which is, I think, what you get in, um, in any good story. And I suppose that Molly, in terms of portraying a character like this, in terms of based on a, a sort of real life events, did you, when you found out about the role, when you were cast in the role, did you research into the actual original story to try and find out a bit of what went on in terms of Christopher Deitch and what was his uh, real life sort of family like to sort of give you a sense of what it would be like to sort of portray that person's wife or that, per that sort of mindset that you would need in terms of coming across? Or did you watch sort of, sort of similar sort of stories? Because we hear about these stories all the time all over the world, uh, these sort of one-off crazy scenarios. 
Yeah, um, I did as much research as I could. I obviously listened to the podcast and read all kinds of uh, newspaper reporting about what happened during the time. This was something that was pretty um, pretty well covered uh, when it was going down um, in like 2016, 2017. Um, and in terms of playing Wendy, she's, uh, she's not, there's not a ton of information about her that's like readily available, which I can understand as having, wanting to have some privacy after, um, you know, going through such a major public thing with this man that you have a family with and wanting to protect your kids and stuff. Um, so I really kind of only had the script mainly to learn about the character. So in a lot of ways, yes, I was able to learn it as much as I could from the real story, but we had such an amazing uh, showrunner and group of writers and the, the script on its own was so rich and I really trusted them to really do their due diligence and their research. So I was able to kind of approach it just like a, a traditional role if I was getting something that was absolutely fiction too. And I suppose Molly, I suppose to wrap it up for the last minute or so, you might enlighten our, all our audience why they should tune in on September the 12th and Channel Star play here in Ireland in the UK to watch uh, Dr. Dish and uh, what's in store for them. Uh, over to you, uh, Molly Griggs. <laughs> I think you should tune in because I think uh, uh, I, if you're like, I wanted to know how in the world a licensed doctor in the United States was able to maim and kill over 30 people in the United States and he wasn't stopped after even the first time or the second time or the third time. Um, and you'll get to find out why that is. Uh, on that note, Molly, a pleasure talking to you today. We look ahead in joyful anticipation for the premiere on September the 12th on Channel Starpe. Do catch it out. Molly plays Wendy Young, uh, the partner, the girlfriend of uh, Dr. Christopher Deutsch, uh, played by the one and only uh, Joshua, Jackson, uh, Joshua Jackson. Other characters, Christopher Slater, Alec Baldwin, an all-star cast. Uh, Molly, thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, we wish you the best in your future endeavours and no doubt many more promising uh, projects around the corner for you in late 2021 and into the new year as well. Thank you so much. It was an absolute pleasure talking to you. Cheers. Take care, Molly.